train dispatch is one of the most important aspects of our service. All FCC services are driver only operated and train dispatch methods vary along the route. Train dispatch should be a well coordinated process that ensures all passengers have safely boarded or alighted and all doors are unobstructed and fully closed, allowing the train to continue in a safe, efficient and timely manner. Depending on the station, the driver will find CCTV monitors, mirrors, station staff or may have to employ a look back method to assist in safe train dispatch. Where train dispatch staff are provided, the process is aided by the use of either indicators or by a form of hand signal dispatch. Our customers can take for granted the safe boarding of our trains. For some, boarding or alighting can be a busy and stressful experience. At Man stations, our staff are present to help and assist passengers. When a train is about to start, all staff should be vigilant to ultimately ensure that it is safe to dispatch the train. At certain locations, the driver is assisted by the train dispatcher, who carries a white baton and a green flag. The dispatcher helps to coordinate timely boarding of the train at this potentially busy time. Here a whistle is used to alert passengers of impending departure and let them know that the doors are about to close. After passengers have either boarded or alighted from the train, the station work complete signal is given. Once the doors are closed, the dispatcher carries out the train safety check and then waves the green flag, giving the ready to start signal to the driver. During the hours of darkness, the white dispatch bat is replaced by a white light held steady. Again, once the train safety check has been carried out, the train ready to start signal is given, this time by way of a green light, also held steady. Here the train arrives at another busy station where train dispatch staff use CDRA indicators. Again the train dispatcher assists with the boarding and alighting and when this is completed the CD indicator is given. Again, once the doors are closed, the train safety check is carried out before the ready to start signal is given by the use of the RA indicator. Depending on location, this can be given as just an R indicator. Station staff should then remain on the platform to visually check that the main aspect signal returns to danger and the RA indicator extinguishes.
At certain stations, mirrors are provided to assist the driver in observing passengers getting on and off the train. When alighting and boarding has taken place, the doors are closed and the driver then performs the train safety check. The whole length of the train is checked to ensure that the doors are fully closed with nothing obstructing them, the exterior hazard lights are not lit, the interlock light is illuminated and that it is safe for the train to start, including a very important final check of the starting signal before the train is moved. At other stations, CCTV monitors may be provided and to afford the best view, the driver should ensure that the train stops so as to be looking directly at the centre of the monitor screens. Once the door release is given at a location where neither equipment or staff are provided, the driver will literally look back along the length of the train. When deemed safe to do so, the driver closes the doors continuing to look back to ensure nothing has obstructed them. Again, as with all methods of dispatch, the interlock light in the cab is checked for illumination and the starting signal is checked before the train departs. It is paramount the driver affords themselves the best view possible of the entire length of their train during the look back procedure. Where conditions are such that this is not possible, a degraded method of dispatch is then employed. On a rare occasion, the mirrors or monitors at any given station may be out of use. A degraded method of train dispatch is then employed. The driver physically exits the cab and looks down the platform ensuring the whole train can be viewed. The doors are then closed and the driver then performs the train safety check. After returning to the cab, a final look back and checking of the starting signal is performed before the train starts away.